we won't go through the whole mechanism, but we'll just draw the products. It's a little hard to draw this one because the lines start overlapping with each other. But I'm still going to put in the stars to show what happened to the carbonyl carbon. Notice that the carbonyl oxygen is gone. These are not the carbonyl oxygens. These are the alcohol oxygens. They've kicked off the carbonyl oxygen. Did I get those right? Okay, good. And what type of functional group do we have here now? Acetone. Which means that this is protected from base nucleophiles, oxidizing agents, and reducing agents. So this is another type of protecting strategy. We already talked about how we could protect just the anomeric carbon by making a glycoside. But what if you want to protect the other carbons? Well, this is another protecting strategy. We can, uh, we can form these types of cyclic acetals by adding a ketone. And this protects two adjacent alcohols that are pointing in the same direction. This protects two adjacent alcohols pointing in the same direction. Now, for example, we could do some type of reaction on this alcohol. Maybe we could oxidize it to an aldehyde, and these would be protected. And then how would we deprotect these? With acid and water. Right? H3O+. And that would just zip us back to where we started. If we used H3O+, we would just get back to where we started, except maybe we'd have, we would have something different on the carbon that we reacted with here. OK, so those are two important uh, protection strategies. All right, well, there's a lot of the reactions that we didn't get to yet. Your instructor will actually end up going over all the reactions in there. Those are the ones that I think are most important, but there's some other ones we didn't get to. One thing to remember about the reactions we didn't get to is remember these oxygens can either be leaving groups or nucleophiles. But we covered the, the key case where it's a leaving group. The key case where it's a leaving group is where you use acid and then an alcohol to make the glycoside. Notice that, how about in this reaction? In this reaction, the alcohols were nucleophiles, right? And that means, so remember, if you want an alcohol to be a leaving group, the anomeric carbon is much more reactive than the other ones. But if you want an oxygen to be a nucleophile, they're all about equally reactive. Notice that in this reaction, all the oxygens could participate because we were treating the oxygens as nucleophiles, not as potential leaving groups. So when you want them to be nucleophiles, you have to protect the anomeric one? if you don't want the anomeric carbon to be a nucleophile. In this case, we, um, in this case, the anomeric carbon acted like a nucleophile and got protected by the acetal. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not, any, it's not a particularly better nucleophile. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www dot freelance dash teacher dot com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.